Hi Virgos, thank you so much for joining me here today for your reading. This will be a general love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Crosswatchers. Hello, you're very welcome here. Thank you for all joining me here today and um, I hope you've been really well. Welcome to all the new subscribers, there's been loads. Thanks so much guys for clicking the subscribe button. Make sure you do if you haven't already. Oh, well, this is a good card to start with here. Ace of Pentacles. So abundant times on the way, guys. This is Earth Energy Taurus Virgo Capricorn, which may mean something in your situation. Good fortune coming in. Uh, sudden wealth here, sudden abundance. Um, so we'll get into what this is more in a minute, but this could be like a sudden windfall as well. Maybe start playing the lottery, guys. <laughs> um yeah some money that you weren't expecting it can also be like a really stable uh grounded offer from someone as well so let's see how this unfolds hopefully it's something coming in from the divine masculine you know if you're kind of uh wanting a more stable start with them All right let's see what else we get here Okay, you can see one card which makes sense here. Mm -hmm. All right, so, so uh, someone, the very masculine here, is definitely wanting to come in with some kind of offer for you. It is sincere. It is someone who's who is grounded. You know, this is a. Uh, yeah, a sincere offer, a message of some sort could be. Um, this is the slowest moving night though. We've got quite a lot of pentacles energy so far. Um, so your divine masculine could be really slow moving. Um, you know, you could, be, you could have been waiting a long time for this offer to kind of come from them, this message. It feels like they do want you know, this, this is like commitment, this is solid offers, just can take like a, a while to manifest. Um, but the Knight of Pentacles is someone, it doesn't tend to like rush into your life, rush out. This is someone that actually kind of finishes that cross line, you know, with you and is around to stay. So the other two cards that came out there were the Eight of Swords. Um, and the Hierophant. So it is someone wanting commitment here. Um, but really trapped in their head. Okay, so we've got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius on here. Um, I kind of for forgot the sign for the Hierophant. I don't know why that's gone out of my head. I think it's Virgo energy. You can let me know. But there's no accidents in Tarot, so that may be a message for someone. But... The thing is with this person, they want the commitment and they want to offer you something, but they get really trapped in their own head about the situation. It kind of, to me though, feels like they're going, they're going within to actually kind of um, take a look at their inner issues. It, it's like they're going within to listen to their intuition more to see where they're like spiritually guided to. Maybe this is a divine masculine becoming more spiritual. Um, no, but they're certainly in their head a lot here. This is someone who's kind of a prisoner of their own making. So it really feels like a lot of kind of their own just negative thinking and things and putting themselves down rather than being, you know, actually stuck somewhere I mean this is not chains around them they could easily get out of feeling like this and it feels like they kind of they are getting help with this from their own intuition and maybe some kind of teacher mentor coming in to help them but they certainly they want to come in here this is a lot about commitment this is really three cards of solid commitment um but it just feels like slow moving with the action with this and you've probably been on your journey with them for quite a long time. I mean, I'm feeling this is more years with this group. <clears throat> mm. 
bottom of the deck there actually is the Six of Swords. So it is about movement forward to you. It is about like Source guiding them where they should be out of these choppy waters and into calm waters with you. So it, it really does feel like some they are getting some kind of guidance from someone here. This can be about travel as well. So <sighs> traveling to you, maybe you are separated long distance here by some water. That could really be why I'm feeling this like slow moving energy here. Obviously, if you are in a long distance connection, things have been slowed down because no one can kind of travel like at a great distance right now. So it could be kind of why that's coming through. Yeah, this person really is going back and forth here. More pentacles energy. We've, yeah, we've basically got all earth and air right now. So it's it's kind of, it's slow move, moving, it's back and forth. And it's someone who's really in their head a lot with the air energy. And they're, they're, and we've got these choppy waters here too. So, you know, there has been like quite a lot of disruption in your connection, but it is behind him here. So I just feel like focusing more uh, on trying to move away from that, like, like we got with the Six of Swords into a better place. But it, it just feels like this mental energy back and forth, up and down, up and down within themselves. This person's probably really quite, um, it feels like high one minute, low the next. And kind of essentially like slowly, I, do you know, the phrase I'm getting is they will take like one step forward with you and then two steps back. And it really is because this person gets in their head too much. They get in their own way too much. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so... Right, we've got the Ace of Swords, guys. More energy, like, air energy, like I was saying. Three of Swords, again, more air. You definitely could be dealing with an air or an earth sign here. Um, and the Page of Cups, so the first water energy on the spread, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So really, a, an, an apology coming through here. An apology for third party situations, perhaps. An apology for the heartbreak they've put you through. An apology, I'm being told, like, for not being there for you when they really should have been there for you. And this is them speaking their truth. We've got two aces here. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. You know, I was saying about going within so that they could... It just feels like work on on their inner issues. Um, you know, work on things that they need to transmute. Uh, it's about seeing more clearly. It's about not being in their head so much. And it just feels like... They're learning how they truly feel and, and how to express how they truly feel. They want to offer you something here. They do. It, it, it kind of feels like because we've got the Knight of Pentacles, who's, you know, quite cautious, slow moving and a page here. They, they could also be younger than you, just a younger energy, maybe, but. I feel kind of physically younger than you. It, it just with the page and the Knight of Pentacles, it feels a little bit like um, this person isn't really the most confident right now of people. Um, it does feel really sincere though, what they want to say to you, what they want to offer is sincere but it's you know it's not like the boldest of divine masculine is what i'm trying to say i'm not getting king so far you know the emperor um 
Hmm. Gonna get a couple more cards here, but it's not someone, you know, they are very kind of up and down here <clears throat> with their emotions. I'm just trying to see if I get another message from these cards first before I get some more, but it just really feels like they just they keep taking steps forward towards you and then kind of going a bit backwards, but yeah, they're just very up and down at the moment. The Six of Swords be next to the Hierophant here as well. It, it does feel, it, it's almost like getting encouragement from their spirit team from the universe. They're really trying to guide them in the right direction here, like to you. But they just, they have so many doubts about themselves here. And this is why they're so kind of up, so kind of down. Um, yeah, okay, let's, let's get a couple more cards. Temperance, oh, the old patience card, which everybody loves to see, not. <laughs> you know what I was saying about their spirit team? Got guardian angels, maybe, um, around them right now. This this is Sagittarius energy. For me, it's the Two of Cups as well. Uh, it is about reconciliation. So it is about them being kind of divinely or universally, whatever you subscribe to, being guided back to you so i do see them coming in but it's just because we've got this like patience energy and 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 healing around them and things like that um it just feels like it, it's slow moving like i said you know you're gonna have to have more patience with this person if you still want this connection you don't have to um you know you, you could decide to walk away and be with the soulmate whatever you choose but i'm just saying if you want this connection it feels quite slow moving this person's very tentative here and it's a lot to do with their own inner issues it's not you it's it is them it is them and um, but yeah we see this reconciliation coming in we see this offer being made feels like an apology for the heartbreak you know, we see the Divine Masculine coming forward here, but just kind of cautiously, slowly. I'm just going to get some good tarot. <clears throat> you know, as usual with a lot of Divine Masculines, um, this group really gets in their head too much about the situation with you. Could be putting some third parties in the way. I mean, not just people, third party things here, addictions, you know, jobs, whatever. Something um, that it's like they kind of go back to and they're not feeling very confident. I like this Ace of Swords being here though, you know, because whatever they say to you when they start communicating or communicating more than they have been, you know, if you're in contact, whatever they say to you, it, it's the truth, it's honest. I just, I keep hearing the word sincere a lot, it's sincere. So, what have we got here? Mm -hmm. I told you. I mean... This group is far too much in their head. We've got the Nine of Air here, basically the Nine of Swords. So they get stuck in a lot of repeated patterns, I feel. Self-sabotaging thoughts, a lot of anxiety, depression, regret here, going on, sleepless nights, that type of thing. Anxiety about the whole situation. And heartbreak too. They, I mean, God, they feel the heartbreak just as much as you for not 
if we're not kind of um, moving things forward in the, the way that they would like to, you know. It's quite interesting, this card, though, because it it is symbolic of someone kind of spreading their wings here. I keep feeling a lot of spiritual guidance coming on, coming in for this group. Spiritual guidance. Um, almost feels like learning to spread the wings and fly and and not be so trapped in their head like this. You know, even though that's kind of what the Nine of Swords traditionally is about, it just feels like learning to kind of free themselves from that, from that kind of thinking. Mm-hmm, yeah, okay. So we do have the Magician here, Major Arcana, Major Energy coming in here <clears throat> of someone manifesting learning to use all the tools around them to, you know, to shake things up, to move, to move out of feeling like this. This is kind of, someone getting ready, it just feels like to take control, take back control of their life. It's almost like learning to use learning to use all the tools around them. Learning, you know, I just keep getting this image of like them freeing themselves. For me as well, the magician is a public figure of some kind. It could be like actually famous, it could be social media famous, that type of thing. Someone who's quite a prominent figure. Okay, and we've got love here. I just want to double check, but I'm sure this is like the lovers in traditional tarot. It is a six as well, which is about <clears throat> union. Where's my little guide book? So I want to double check in case it's slightly different in this. It reminds me of the strength card as well. You may be dealing with um, a Leo. Well, let me just double check, guys. Oh, where is it in the book here? Okay, here we go. Hmm, love, it says oneness. Okay, in all of life, there is only the illusion of separation. This is what I was trying to say to you guys. You're never in separation. You are actually always in union with your divine masculine as you are one soul. So I like to say non-communication rather than like separation. So there's just the illusion of that. In fact, we're all reflections of one another. Um, Oh, when I choose to see the unity in all things, magic abounds. Love is all around me. Okay, so it is about being, <laughs> you are as one with your divine masculine. It's so interesting. It mentions like magic here. You know, when you learn to see yourself as one soul, as already in union, basically, did that almost like that manifests that with this magic here, you know? see yourself as not in separation, see yourself in union, you know, it almost manifests like the physical 3D kind of union coming in here. So I think we're gonna, I'm just drawn to get some moon oracles for you guys here. But yeah, a lot of um, <laughs> patience around this spread with this group of Divine Masculines. You're gonna have to have some patience here. 
So, you know, some people just don't want to kind of wait any longer. That's, that's fine. Um, but if you do still want your Divine Masculine, just know that um, it's, it's going to come in, but you've just got to give them a bit more time here. They feel quite fragile. Okay, let's get a Moon Oracle. Ooh, I hope you didn't hear my stomach rumbling there. <laughs> okay, I'm guided to stop shuffling there. It's time to release negativity. Full moon and Scorpio. Maybe you are dealing with a scorpion. Maybe you are Scorpio yourself. Um, but yeah, it, it is really kind of about... I can't, I feel like this is more of the divine masculine, you know, holding on to a lot of <clears throat> negativity here with the eight and nine of swords, dwelling too much over things in the past, dwelling about past mistakes and things, dwelling about um, how guilty they feel about the ways they have treated you at times, you know, it's, it's things like that. It's about releasing that so they get out of this self-made prison so they can move things forward with you, you know, and it just feels like they're going to learn to do that here. They're going to learn to be free, free like a, a bird here, free out of this cage. And these are doves too, guys, you know, twin flame symbol here. But yeah, release that negativity. Also... You know, I know it's extremely difficult sometimes, but if you're holding on to negativity about your masculine too, honestly, try and let go of that, guys, because if you still want to be with your masculine, it just doesn't serve you to hold on to that. You know, all the past things, you know, it, it's about releasing that for yourself, if nothing else, because it it just consumes you, you know, it doesn't, it's not good for you. You just try and kind of release that. I know it is difficult, but um, release because that helps you move forward as well. Um, I feel like I had something else to say about that. What was I going to say? No, it's just been taken away from me. But yeah, it really is about... Learning really not to, oh, that's what I was going to say, not to dwell on the past. So, yeah, it feels like for both groups, probably more the Divine Masculine, though. But I was going to say, you know, about Eckhart Tolle, the power of now. We can't kind of change anything in the past, you know. It's all, all about the now. We've just got the now. So, you know, try and release that kind of energy because it's going to benefit you as well. And that's what we want to do. So... I think I'm going to get some messages from Divine Masculine. Let's use... I'm going to use Eternal Messages and then Twin Flame Volume 2 by uh, Mystic Moon. What have we got here? Mm-hmm. Okay, we've got, I do think about the future, and when I do, I think about you in it. So, they still have, despite this energy, despite what's going on between you, they still have this in mind, that in the future, you guys are, are going to be together. Almost like they're going to get their shit together and get things right with you. They still have that in their minds, you know, when they, when they picture their future and how they want it, it is with you in it, you know? And then this kind of manifestation vibe we've got going on here. So, I mean, they're trying to manifest themselves out of this, out of this feeling, to be more confident. Um, it feels like something missing <clears throat> without you around. So, I think this is why I'm really feeling this heartbreak of this Three of Swords, you know? Um... There's, I mean, to get the eight and nine of swords as well, there's a huge amount of regret and remorse, feeling like 
you know, there is the void of their feminine here. So yeah, I mean, they miss you without a doubt. <laughs> I feel like this card has been coming up a lot for my collective readings and in my personal readings. I'm trying to think of what to say to you. <laughs> oh God, Dave, you asking that? Stop being so in your hair about it. <laughs> This is then going back and forth, like, oh my God, what do I see? How do I fix this? And, and getting themselves essentially like stuck. It's this fear of sort of seeing anything else wrong, doing anything else wrong. That's what I said. They're going to be slow moving because they're so in their head about what to see. They're just, they just are. They have such a blockage there. What is the right thing to see? So they're thinking about this so much, like too much, but you it just just know that when they do finally come forward with what to say, it is going to be something really sincere, truthful, meaningful. It's not going to be any kind of bullshit, basically. I just really feel that with this group. Genuine is the word I just heard. Genuine. <clears throat> a lot of signs are pointing to you lately. Told you guys. They're kind of listening to their intuition, listening to like their spirit team. Could even be some kind of mentor, like I said. Um, but their in intuition for sure. And, you know, I was talking about this universal energy around, this divine energy as well pointing things out to to them you know about how i'm saying about source guiding them it's 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 source trying to guide them back to you you know um pointing out a lot of things to them here a lot of signs so they're probably just seeing a lot of things that remind them of you like your name songs you like things you like. It's almost like everything kind of reminds them of you. Um, just just weird synchronicities. They might even be seeing 11-11 a lot and things like that. If they know what that means. I feel like this person is getting quite in touch with spirituality here though. So yeah, it's like they may even recognise signs like that. But yeah, I mean, they're really getting um, a lot of signs put in front of them of where they should be and, and how to kind of um, get their life back on track, I feel. So guys, please do let me know if this resonated. Um, has this been slow moving? Actually guys, do you know what? Could you put in the comments, let me know how long you've been on this Twin Flame journey um, with your Divine Masculine. Let me know as a matter of interest. I really feel like with this group, it is quite, uh, the, I mean, this feels more like years. It may not be, but I, I'm feeling more years with this group. So let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to give the video a cheeky little like, subscribe, get your notifications on. 